Ever wondered about the invisible hands guiding thousands of aircraft across the sky? That's the magic of air traffic services, governed by ICAO's Annex 11. For those of you who may not know, ICAO stands for the International Civil Aviation Organization. It's a specialized agency of the United Nations established to manage the administration and governance of the Convention on International Civil Aviation. To achieve this, ICAO develops a series of annexes, each dealing with a specific aspect of aviation. Annex 11, in particular, is all about air traffic services. It's the document that sets out the standards and recommended practices for the provision of air traffic services to ensure the safe and efficient navigation of aircraft all around the globe. So, let's dive into the world of air traffic services and unravel the intricacies of Annex 11. But why are air traffic services so important? Let's dive right into it. Air Traffic Services, or ATS, are the eyes and ears of aviation. They play a key role in orchestrating the symphony of planes crisscrossing our skies. Their primary responsibility? To prevent collisions between aircraft in the air and on the ground. But that's not all. They also coordinate the efficient and orderly flow of traffic, ensuring that planes take off and land on time, minimizing delays, and enhancing passenger experience. In a world where over 4 billion people fly every year, ATS becomes the silent hero, working behind the scenes to keep every passenger safe. They are the guardians of our skyways, managing the complex web of aircraft movements and ensuring that no matter where you fly, from the busiest metropolises to the remotest corners of the earth, you arrive safely. The importance of ATS extends beyond safety and efficiency. They are also integral to emergency responses, aiding in search and rescue operations and providing critical support in the face of natural disasters or other crises. As we can see, without these services, our skies would be chaos. Let's break down Annex 11 into its key components. At its core, this annex is made up of three main services, each playing a distinct and indispensable role in air traffic management. First up, we have the Air Traffic Control Service, this service is responsible for the real-time management of aircraft, ensuring they maintain safe distances from each other while in flight and during takeoff and landing. Next, we have the Flight Information Service. This service provides essential data to pilots, including updates on weather conditions, runway closures, and other crucial information that can impact the safety and efficiency of a flight. Finally, there's the Alerting Service. This service is all about emergency situations. It's designed to alert search and rescue services in case an aircraft is in distress or has gone missing. These three services form the backbone of air traffic management. Each one is crucial in its own way, ensuring that every flight can take off, traverse the skies, and land safely. First up, Air Traffic Control Service. What does it do? Imagine the sky as a vast, invisible freeway. Now, visualize the air traffic controllers as the vigilant traffic cops on this freeway. Their job? To ensure a safe, orderly, and expeditious flow of traffic. They manage the takeoffs, landings, and en route travel of aircraft, maintaining a safe distance between them to avoid collisions. But that's not all. Air traffic controllers also provide pilots with crucial information. From weather updates to changes in runway conditions, they ensure pilots have the data they need for a safe journey. And in emergency situations, air traffic controllers are the lifeline for distressed aircraft guiding them safely back to terra firma. They're also responsible for coordinating search and rescue operations if an aircraft is lost or in distress. In essence, air traffic control is the conductor of the sky's symphony. Next, let's decipher the Flight Information Service. This is a pivotal cog in the aviation wheel, providing pilots with essential data crucial for the safe and efficient operation of their aircraft. The Flight Information Service is like the invisible co-pilot, constantly feeding pilots with timely and relevant flight information. It keeps pilots abreast of any significant changes that could affect the safety of their flight. This includes meteorological conditions, air traffic control clearances, and other information that could impact the flight path or schedule. The Flight Information Service is also the pilot's eyes and ears on the ground, alerting them to any unforeseen circumstances like sudden weather changes, runway closures, or other potential hazards. Essentially, it's the pilot's informational lifeline, always at hand to provide data that's as real-time as possible. But it's not just about delivering information, it's about delivering the right information at the right time and in a way that's easy for pilots to understand and act upon. Armed with this information, 
pilots can make informed decisions mid-flight. Oh, well, lastly, we have the alerting service. But what does it do? The alerting service is a key component of the ICAO's Annex 11. It's a crucial system that works tirelessly behind the scenes, playing a critical role in ensuring the safety of flights. When an aircraft is in distress or communication is lost, it's the alerting service that springs into action. The primary function of the alerting service is to promptly notify appropriate organizations whenever an aircraft is in need of search and rescue aid and to assist such organizations as required. This includes instances when an aircraft may be in imminent danger or when it's overdue and missing. The alerting service works closely with the air traffic control and flight information services. Together, these three services form a well-oiled machine, each playing their part in the complex dance that is air traffic management. So the next time you're flying, take a moment to appreciate the unseen yet vital work of the alerting service. From takeoff to landing and even in times of unforeseen circumstances, it's always ready to spring into action to ensure your safety. A vital lifeline, the alerting service is always ready to spring into action. Now that we've understood the theory, let's see Annex 11 in action. Taking a trip across the globe, let's start with Japan. The country's aviation department, JANTS, meticulously follows Annex 11. When the Mount ASO volcano erupted in 2016, air traffic controllers were swift in rerouting aircrafts, ensuring safety and minimal disruption. This was possible due to the alerting service stipulated in Annex 11. Next, we travel to Canada, a country known for its robust air traffic services. Nav Canada, the country's civil air navigation services provider, consistently adheres to Annex 11. In fact, when the pandemic hit in 2020, Nav Canada leveraged the principles of the Flight Information Service, providing pilots with vital real-time information about changes in routes and airport operations. Our next stop is the United Kingdom. NATS, the UK's main air navigation service provider, is a shining example of Annex 11's air traffic control service component in action. They handle over 2 million flights annually, and their adherence to Annex 11 ensures the safe and efficient management of aircraft movements. Down under in Australia, Air Services Australia, the nation's air navigation service provider, also follows Annex 11. In 2019, when catastrophic bushfires ravaged the country, their alerting services played a crucial role in providing timely information, aiding in the safe evacuation of people and animals. And lastly, we visit South Africa. The South African Civil Aviation Authority, in line with Annex 11, has implemented an advanced air traffic management system. This system, which includes the use of satellite-based navigation, has significantly enhanced the safety and efficiency of their airspace. As you can see, Annex 11 is not just a document, but a living, breathing framework that guides air traffic services around the globe. You've got questions? We've got answers. Let's dive into some of the most commonly asked questions about air traffic services and Annex 11. Firstly, what is the primary purpose of air traffic services? Well, they exist to prevent collisions between aircraft both in the air and on the ground, and to expedite and maintain an orderly flow of air traffic. Next, what is the significance of Annex 11? Annex 11 provides the standards and recommended practices for air traffic services. It's the blueprint that ensures uniformity in services and procedures worldwide, enhancing safety and efficiency in international aviation. A common question is, who implements these services? Air traffic services are provided by ground-based controllers who communicate with aircraft through radio transmissions. Lastly, how are these services coordinated globally? The International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO, establishes the standards, which are then implemented by individual countries in their respective airspaces. Remember, no question is too small when it comes to understanding the big picture. In an ever-evolving world, why should Annex 11 be any different? Indeed, as the landscape of air traffic services continually shifts and transforms, so too must the regulations and guidelines that govern it. This is precisely where the importance of updating Annex 11 comes into play. Air traffic management isn't static. It's a dynamic field that keeps pace with advances in technology, changes in aircraft design, and the increasing complexity of global air traffic patterns. As such, Annex 11 isn't a one-time document set in stone. Instead, it's a living, breathing guide that grows and evolves alongside the industry it serves. Updates to Annex 11 are, therefore, not just beneficial, they're essential.
they ensure that air traffic services stay relevant, effective, and above all safe. They allow for the integration of new technologies, the implementation of innovative procedures, and the accommodation of emerging trends in aviation. So, while the core principles of Annex 11 remain steadfast, its specifics are continually fine-tuned, revised, and improved. This way, we can ensure that it always reflects the most current and efficient practices in air traffic management. Just like technology, Annex 11 also evolves, ensuring it's always one step ahead in the game of air traffic management. It's been quite a journey, hasn't it? We've delved into the world of aviation, exploring the International Civil Aviation Organization and its vital Annex 11. We've seen how this document dealing with air traffic services plays a crucial role in the safety and efficiency of global aviation. Through its key components, the Air Traffic Control Service, Flight Information Service, and Alerting Service, it provides a framework for managing aircraft movements, equipping pilots with essential data, and ensuring flight safety. We've witnessed its practical applications across different countries and addressed your burning questions about air traffic services. We've also discussed the evolving nature of these services and why Annex 11 must adapt to keep pace. As we bid adieu, remember the value of Annex 11 in maintaining a safe and orderly global air traffic system. Until next time, keep your heads in the clouds and your feet on the ground.